Hey everyone, this is Matt, and in today's video I have another deck matchup in Master Duel. This time, however, I'm not playing Eldritch. This time, I'm playing Heroes, baby. That's right, I'm playing a hero deck. I d I'm, a, I'm a fan of heroes. You know, like, I'm a, I've always been a sucker for anime decks. Love me some Dark Magician. Uh, Low-key, low big hero fan, right? Uh, so yeah, I actually do have a hero deck in Master Duel that I was finally able to build. You know, it's really, really hard to build decks in Master Duel because of how the UR... Uh, how hard it is to craft UR cards, but uh, yeah, uh, so I have a matchup for you. Heroes against, uh, what was I playing? I don't know, some Synchro Sword Soul bullshit deck. It, it doesn't matter what I'm playing, you, you'll see soon. Uh, uh, Heroes versus a pile of random good stuff deck, right? Um, so, I'm not a hero expert, and for those of you who wonder, oh, what's your hero deck? I'll show you eventually, but... I just thought this was a fun little game. Did I misplay? Probably. But I had fun and I won. So that's all that matters. Alright, so I do lose the coin toss. I go sec I go second. So just FYI, uh, just looking at my opening hand. My opening hand is really good because uh, Fusion Destiny, always good to open. You're a hero player. You want to see that Fusion Destiny. Super Poly, usually good to open, right? Especially Super Poly comboed with, if you look at my hand, I have Malicious and I have uh, Shadow Mist. Both of these cards want to go to the graveyard because they prefer to be in the graveyard over the hand most of the time. And guess what? Super Poly allows me to discard a card. So, yeah, uh, that's a good, it's good to have these combos. And the Stratos, of course, just a standard uh, normal summon. So let's see what's going to happen now. So he summons Bashuda and the Wandering Griffin Rider. Okay. Oh, Rockstar's Dragon. Okay, so this is like a based variant, uh, Synchro, Tokens, Dragon, whatever. It's a, it's a stupid Synchro deck. That's all you need to know. All right, they're gonna make Baron de Fleur. Okay. Uh, Basil. Sh okay, sure. I believe this is a synchro. Oh no, that's that's just Hulk. Okay. Oh boy, this is so obnoxious. Ah, here we go. Okay, so he gets the O Lion. Okay. Oh, uh, Ding Long. Ding Long's gonna search the the Yang Zing uh, trap or whatever. Okay. Chang Ying, okay. So obnoxious. Synchro eight, okay. Blackout, okay. Chao Feng. All right, so his opening board is really good. <laughs> For those of those who don't know, obviously Bron is an Omni Negate. Uh, Cheng Ying is uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and it can, it has like a banish right uh, on on uh, a quick effect banish. Only if another card gets banished. Uh, Chao Feng is a pseudo like. Uh, floodgate, uh, I believe it in this case it's locking me out of uh, activating light monsters, right? And he has a uh, blackout and he has the Yang Zing counter trap. All right, so not looking good. And but however, one thing to note, he did leave this little token here. This token is a wind machine, and this Barone is a wind warrior. Uh, I run super poly in this hero deck, and yes, I do run mud dragon of the swamp. So if I really wanted to, I could just straight up. Super Poly, Baron, and the token into Mud Dragon of the Swamp, and no more Baron. That's what I could do. However, I'm going to opt for something a little different here, and you'll see why. Uh, but basically, in short, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, okay, I'll get rid of the Baron and the token, but the token doesn't really do much against me. Um, and Mud Dragon, when I, when I produce a monster, it's just kind of a doesn't do much either. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw. I'm gonna so I draw a call by the grave, which is not bad. 
so I'm going to fusion Destiny, and the reason I'm fusion Destiny is I want him to chain one of his Omni Negates, either Barone or the Yang Zing card. So he's going to go ahead and uh, chain Barone. That's what I wanted. Okay, so Barone Negate gone. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to normal Stratos, and I'm going to summon this. Uh, I'm going to grab Ferris. The reason you grab Ferris is because Ferris is just an extender, right? Ferris works magnificently well with Shadow, both Shadow Mist and Malicious. Uh, and we want both of them in the graveyard. So we have two ways of getting Malicious and Shadow Mist to the graveyard. Ferris is one of them. Super Poly is the other. All right. So I'm going to Super Poly. Now, why am I Super Polying here? Because uh, I want to get this Changing off the field, right? This Changing is a problem. It's really hard to kill. Base, I can only kill it via battle, but the way the changing effect works is it increases his own attack and then decreases your attack, and basically you get punished for banishing. So if I want to do a malicious play and I banish malicious, changing can chain and, screw and, and mess me up, right? So I want his changing off the board, so I'm going to super poly, discarding malicious here, and I'm going to fuse them into absolute zero. So... I love Absolute Zero. This is one of my favorite uh, elemental heroes. Because let's read this effect. Because, you know, one hero monster and any water monster must be fusion summoned. Gains 500 attack for each water monster in the field, which, whatever. If this card leaves the field, destroy all monsters your opponent control. So there you go. I have a, I now have a board wipe, right? So let's see how I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go straight into battle phase. I'm going to attack and crash Absolute Zero, which will cause Absolute Zero to trigger and then he has to use nine pillars of the Yang Zing which was what I was expecting so his board will not get cleared so but that's okay so he's gonna uh, trigger that and summon a uh, Yang Zing monster which whatever okay and he draws a card he uh, he, gr he oh he, uh, he searches ash blossom lucky for us we have call by the grave so Ferris is going to summon itself Shadow Mist. So whenever you use Ferris and pitch Shadow Mist, you want Shadow Mist to chain link 1 and Ferris to chain link 2. Why? Because uh, Shadow Mist's effect can be ashed and uh, Ferris's effect cannot. So you're chain blocking ash here. So I know they have ash. Oh, but they have a freaking call by the grave. Can you believe that? This guy has everything, right? Okay, so I'm going to lose a Shadow Mist. But I am going to get my Increase. So Increase is going to Tribute. Summon. And then I'm going to get... Uh, he's going to try to Ash the Summon. But I have Called by the Grave as well. So I'm going to use that. Okay. So, good. yeah, I definitely want the Violent to Resolve. All right, now Vion gets the middle card. So typically, uh, if I don't have Malicious or Shadow Mist in the graveyard, normally the mill target for Vion is Malicious or Shadow Mist. But because I already sent both of them to the graveyard, I'm going to mill. Well, he's going to black out, but it, it doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to mill Denier. So I'm going to end my turn. I could continue extending. But I already used my battle phase. So I actually want him to play out a turn. So my, so my view here, I can already survive. Like I don't think he's going to be able to OTK. Barone cannot OTK, right? Uh, he's going to draw a card. I can't out the Barone right now because I lost my battle phase. And Barone has a pop on their turn. So I'm just going to end my turn with no cards in hand on the field, right? Uh, let him attack me, and then next turn I'll, I'll mess him up. So I could have extended, but I, I prefer to wait. So Barone is going to tag out. Okay. okay. Mills Vishuda, and then he's gonna remake Barone. Okay, that, that's fine. And now Barone's uh, negate is back. He's gonna battle, swing for 3k. This point doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna use increase here to get a card back. He's gonna pop increase, which expected, but you know, just in case he forgot. So I open Foolish Burial, so I'm going to play Foolish Burial, and he's going to Omnigate. So from his perspective, oh yeah, 
My opponent has one card in hand. He's playing it. I'm gonna negate it, right? Then he he has no plays. Uh, except I do have plays. So I actually wanted, you know, I, this is a bait. But also, if he didn't negate, I would have more plays. So, all right. So he negated it. Now that his I'm gonna negate is gone, I'm gonna use malicious to revive itself, or to revive get the other copy. I'm gonna use denier to revive itself. Denier will recycle the banished malicious. These two will make Cross Crusader. Cross Crusader will revive uh, Denier. And then I'm going to uh, tribute Cross Crusader to, draw, to summon Liquid Soldier. Liquid Soldier is going to summon. And I'm going to revive Vion. Vion is going to mill a card. I'm going to mill Shadow Mist. Because Shadow Mist... I run two copies of Shadow Mist. Uh, this Shadow Mist is going to get me a search. And I get... Destiny Hero Plasma, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Game is ogre. It's already ogre, and they don't even realize it. See, they should just as soon as they saw me search the plasma, they should have just scoot because this game is 100% ogre. Check this out. So Vion's gonna just grab me a poly because always good to have a poly. I'm gonna just gonna summon plasma. <laughs> plasma is gonna grab his barone, equip it, and now I have a 3400 beater, which is a one-sided skill drain. So he can't use any monster effects on the field, so. Alright, let's see. Yeah, he's got nothing. He's got nada. Alright. So I draw. I drew mass change. I'm gonna summon back malicious. But he has ash, because of course he does. It so if he didn't ash me, I, I had a play that was gonna basically bring out DPE, right? But he ashed it. It's okay. I'm just gonna keep beating him over the head with plasma. It, it doesn't matter. Like he's there's nothing. He has nothing left. Like what can he possibly? What is this out here? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna mass change because uh, battle phase. He has 1,200 life points. Um, so I'm gonna. I was gonna mass change into Dark Law and swing for game. So I had game either way. But just in case, I don't know what his face down was, right? Uh, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love me some hero deck. Uh, you know. I will, I will eventually post my hero deck profile. I uh, just want to play around with it more. But yeah, uh, ever since they nerfed Dark Magician, I've been getting into heroes. Uh, because, okay, well, they made it harder to play Dark Magician, but they did not make it harder for me to play heroes. And honestly, I even expect Fusion Destiny to come back to three in the, by the next ban list, given that you know Anaconda's banned, right? So yeah, uh, fun game. Um, I played through a pretty difficult board but you know super poly is just so good right it's just see it's just it's just really good maybe i misplayed maybe i could have played it better i don't know i'm not the hero expert um but i think i did a pretty pretty good job i i, I baited the right things i i was patient right i didn't overextend on my first turn when i could have right and then been punished by Baron de fleur right uh so yeah i uh, hope you enjoy this one uh, you know definitely maybe it's a breath, breath of fresh air from all the eldritch content i've been putting but yeah uh this was in this was in Diamond One, so this was on the ranked. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you on the next video. Peace.